Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? Today, we're going to be talking about Support Genix, and it's a WordPress support ticket plugin. And, well, if you want to handle customer support on your website, this plugin will be great for you. Now, before I dive into Support Genix, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So, let's jump in. In. So here we are in support Genix. Uh, we're just going to go into the settings page first. So this is where the uh, dashboard <coughs> um, admin area is. Okay, so here we are. Um, and of course, you know, installing the plugin is very simple. All you need to do is just, you know, click on add new, upload the file and activate your license and, you know, the plugin will be ready to be used. So, uh, so the first thing is user roles, right? So these are the different user roles that you can uh, assign to. So because these, these ones, um, <coughs> so what happens is actually you have administrator, uh, customer and um, support manager and support agent right it's just that these ones uh, this one's from uh, WooCommerce and then this ones are from you know a previous plugin uh, called uh, restaurant food that I was you know uh, reviewing so that's you know that's why these roles are in there uh, but of course you know if I don't want them I can just you know delete them from support Genix itself okay so this is the <coughs> um, user role right and then you can um, edit uh, the user uh, the roles based on the kind of level of access that you want to give to them okay so whether you want them to be a uh, support genix agent that means they can reply to customer support tickets and if they are active or not okay so this that's for agents <coughs> And then this is for manager. So support agents can only reply and uh, you know reply to tickets, uh, but managers can restore some uh, you know deleted tickets and uh, uh, you know there are some some uh, additional uh, features that uh, the support manager can access uh, it's itself, right? So next thing is uh, <coughs> so the ticket categories. So you can create multiple ticket ca categories. Right, so that you can sort the tickets based on what the issue is. It could be a support issue, it could be a sales uh, inquiry, right? And your ticket assign rule, so you can uh, add, you can assign rules to the, um, let's say if it's, if it's in a particular category, it will be assigned to a certain uh, role or specific agents and so on, okay? <coughs> and then you can also set up your email templates so you can edit um, every single one of these email notifications right here <coughs> right so you can edit uh, the email right here okay and you can also uh, add these uh, dynamic fields right here Right. Next is uh, save replies, so you can save some of your messages so that you can, you know, easily, uh, you know, bring out the uh, save replies and send it to your customers. You can also set up custom fields um, in case you want to keep certain information about the customer itself so you can set up all these uh, custom fields <coughs> right you can set it up in the uh, ticket form itself or registration form and what kind of field type it is <coughs> and uh, this will be your lic uh, license to okay and then Envato um, this is not really this is for you to connect with Envato, if you are selling on Envato's platform itself, <coughs> you can connect with Envato and uh, you know have those uh, messages coming in as a ticket in Support Genix itself. And then you can also set up uh, webhooks right here, so you can connect it to your automation or integration platforms. Okay, right. 
So maybe you can have a new ticket coming in, you send out a uh, uh, Discord message to a channel or whatever it is. Next, you can also email to ticket. <coughs> so this is where you convert your emails coming in to your mailbox as a ticket. Right, so you can set up the uh, you know the ticket right here. Right, so you want to enable this, and then you put in your uh, you know your your email settings in here. Okay. Yep, and then uh, your IMAP uh, email settings right here, and then it's going to pull in and automatically convert these uh, tickets into sorry these emails into a support ticket that you can reply from within support Genix itself and lastly will be some of the settings right here <coughs> so you can set up your ticket page uh, and then the uh, client role <coughs> so let's say they are <coughs> they create a ticket um, what what or re the register on uh, support Genix itself what role would they be having in your WordPress site itself and you can put your logo you can put the you can change the dashboard logo right here uh, you can change the uh, app loader text you can enable WordPress login uh, WordPress profile you know these are the ones that you know if you want to turn them on or off and you can also uh, sort of white label the uh, dashboard area uh, the uh, support Genix uh, ticketing system itself <coughs> and then uh, you know uh, this will be your file upload settings so if people were to upload certain files in uh, in their support tickets uh, you know these are the kind of file types that you accept and the file size okay and whether you want to enable uh, recapture and any custom CSS and then of course your license information is there and then any debug log will be in here right so this is all the settings okay we are going to jump in and uh, I believe this is uh, I'm the uh, admin right here right so <coughs> so you can see all my tickets so this is uh, I have a ticket right here okay and then I can reply uh, right here that can send the message so it becomes like a sort of a like a chat uh, field right here right and then you can also pull up your safe replies and automatically send them very quickly okay and let's say once you're done with this ticket you can uh, change the uh, so let's say you're handling the ticket right now you can see uh, the, the ticket is in progress or you know it's closed you can you know manage them from here and who is it assigned to and the support and then the uh, logs and if you want to set up any customer notes you can uh, enter that in here as well right okay and then we can jump back into all tickets and you can see like all the uh, active tickets and uh, you know closed tickets all the different uh, statuses are all in here and then and that's all uh, for the admin side of things so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm just gonna log in into the uh, user right <coughs> Let's give me a second right here. Okay. Right. So, uh, where is. Okay. So. So, this is the login um, page. Okay. And then you can also access the, uh, the user um, area. <coughs> okay. So these are all the tickets that I've sent in here. Okay, so this is from me. Uh, this this message is all from me. This is from the admin. Okay, <coughs> and then I can create a new ticket in here. Okay, what's the subject? 
in here and then if you want the ticket to be public or uh, you know private you can set that up you can upload your files in here and then you can view the ticket in here right so I think overall you know this is <coughs> you know it's a very simple ticketing tool and I would say that this is in a way is also great because it's so easy to use and it's fast um, you know you can see how fast everything loads uh, within support genix itself so i would say that this is a very good plugin especially if you you know just kind of want to run everything within wordpress itself right you want to self host uh, everything uh, of course this is just a simple uh, ticketing tool it's not like um for example like a complete help dev solution where you have the knowledge base where you have the uh, live chat widget you have a bunch of stuff right so this is just simple uh, you know ticketing but you can also pipe in emails into uh, support genix itself so I think overall is a great value and um, yep so if you are looking for a solution I think support genix is a decent one and if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about support genix in the comments below and if you know anyone who could who could benefit from a wordpress based uh, support ticketing tool be sure to share this video with them and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye bye